Are these products organic? That is a question that many people have, and it's a fair enough question, particularly for the times that we live in. However, there are some issues embedded within the question because there's two big fallacies that it's built upon. The first one is that organics equal safe. And the second one is that organic equals effective when actually neither of those things happen to be the case. So in order to answer the question of are the new skin products organic, the short answer is they're better than organic. And the long answer is this is why. But first, my name is Kurt Provost, your guide to all things new skin. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. There's over 10,000 subscribed to this channel, keeping up to date on all the latest about these incredible products and learning how to use them to get the best possible results. I wrote a post slash article on this very topic, answering this question back in 2018. I'm just gonna share my screen here so you can read along with me. So as you can see, there's a few noticeable brands there that we will be diving into. And that's just a random cross section of the market to highlight a few of the absurdities that we find within the organic world or even natural world. So let's go. Is it organic? I was standing in line at a nightclub surrounded by girls doused in perfume, makeup spread with a spatula, hair fumigated with spray, eyelashes glued on and nails dripping in polish when I heard those words uttered in reference to a skincare product. A cringe rippled through me, still does to this day. It's not so much the words nor the people who use them. It's more the fact that this question is wielded like an invincible sword smiting all further logic or thought. It demands a yes or no answer, with the latter shutting down any further discussion. You see, organic is a sexy word, much like its slightly less attractive older sister, natural. But, uh, what do they actually mean? In the world of food production, organic means quite a lot, and natural means nothing at all. But what about in the world of skincare? My world. There, these words have more to do with a marketing team than any actual benefit to your skin. Now this is an extremely grey and vague topic, so I'm going to keep it simple and give three key reasons why the use of the word organic in skincare is misleading. First and foremost, the words organic or natural on a product package say nothing about the quality of the ingredients or what's inside the packaging. Instead, it has everything to do with branding and imagery. Check out these examples from Choice Article on Organic Cosmetics. Organic Instinct Baby Shampoo. While there's no organic certification logo, this does claim to contain certain ingredients with organic certification. The company has also since changed its name to Natural Instinct. The shampoo bears its own natural ingredient standard logo, which is described as our unique method of balancing carefully selected naturally plant-derived ingredients while excluding hundreds of potentially harmful chemicals. You may be asking yourself, what does that mean? Well, no one really knows, but it sounds good, which I think is the whole point. Lucas pawpaw ointment is mostly petroleum jelly and only about 4% pawpaw, but that 4% was enough to name the product after it. I wonder why they didn't call it Lucas's petroleum jelly. It doesn't have quite the same ring to it. St. Ives apricot scrub containing last and least apricot extract. I guess they're justified in putting apricots all over the packaging then. Fruit of the earth aloe vera is 100% gel, but not 100% aloe vera gel, as it implies. It also contains ingredients prohibited in many countries. Sukin Organics, with the exception of its rosehip oil, doesn't claim any certified organic ingredients. It's got a damn catchy name though. Barthox goat's milk hand wash contains more salt than goat's milk. Olivella bath and shower gel contains 100% virgin olive oil, apart from all the other ingredients in it. Nature's Organics doesn't contain any certified organic ingredient. I love their name though. <laughs> you see what I'm getting at here? The words mean literally nothing. The next point is that whether a product uses organic ingredients or not has very little to do with if that product is actually safe and effective 
for the skin? Which I feel is the better question to be asking. See in quotations here, there's nothing about natural or organic that reflects the quality of a product when it comes to protecting or making your skin look or act younger, healing your acne or dry skin, controlling your oily skin or rosacea or addressing other skincare concerns. So products labeled organic are not a panacea for your skin. In fact, some organic products may actually hurt your skin. That's quoted from the skincare website Paula's Choice. Now, if a product is certified organic, that does actually mean that the ingredients are sourced from an organic enterprise. Kind of. There's over seven different third-party organisations just within Australia which provide certification, all by slightly different standards. There's also the fascinating part where a product can be certified organic on the label, and yet contain 5% non-organic ingredients, sourced from a list of roughly 200 ingredients which the certifier deems acceptable. Why are these ingredients acceptable and others not? How are they chosen to be included on this list? And why aren't they certified organic products 100%? Like why is it 95% or 70%? Then there's the other ones which contain 70% organic ingredients, etc. It all makes for some very confusing certifications and labeling, none of which gives any clue as to whether the product will actually benefit your skin. And this is my issue with the question, but is it organic? Usually spoken with a nasally voice and scrunched up nose, is it organic? As if my answer could possibly contain some noxious smell. The catch is people believe the word organic somehow lifts a product to the status of almighty panacea when the reality is whether the ingredients are organic or not, it will have very little to do with what it does to your skin. What is even more fascinating is that unlike the food we consume, there's no government regulated standardization for organic skincare. Meaning that when a product is called organic or natural, it means literally nothing other than catchy marketing playing on our fears. Which brings me to the third point, and that is the structure of the skin. Beth McLellan, MD, Director of Oncodermatology at Montefiore Health System and Dermatologist for the app Spruce, puts it well. I do not believe that putting something in my body is the same as putting something on the surface of my skin. You see, one of the skin's main functions is to keep toxins out of your body. It is the first line of defense and very effective at it. If we could put something on the surface of your skin and it was all absorbed into the bloodstream, you would never have to take pills. You could just rub medicine on your skin, but it doesn't work that way. Sourced from into the gloss. Nothing gets, nothing much gets through, and thank God for that, which is the ultimate issue. If most of what we put on our skin is not getting through, then why spend money on skincare in the first place? That is a very good question. The unfortunate reality is that most consumers are wasting their money buying hope in a jar, and the organic marketing machine is an expensive piece of this hyped up dream. There's no scientific proof that organic skincare is better for you, says Emma Hobson, education manager of the International Dermal Institute. According to Hobson, 100% organic, sim organic products simply can't deliver the results consumers are seeking, especially when it comes to advanced anti-aging skincare. They're not able to use efficacy. Eff Let me start that again. They're not able to use efficacious ingredients such as synth synthesized peptides, vitamins, and the like. Says Hobson, and I will get my words right eventually. Compare any age-fighting organic skincare product to one that uses a blend of natural and laboratory-derived ingredients, and there is no comparison. That's sourced from the Daily Life. Unless you're working with certain active ingredients which have the ability and molecular size to penetrate the deeper dermal layers where the skin is created, or use technology to infuse ingredients deeper into the skin, then it'd be better for you to save your money and not buy into the marketing hype. Which begs the question, how do you judge a skincare product if you can't base your judgement on the label, advertising or marketing? I believe the answer is first and foremost from products which actually have clinical studies. And secondly, from personal testimonials and referrals. Which is one of the reasons why I'm puzzled that so many women take advice from those with bad skin or from an unknown online source. The skincare industry will always be more effective when conducted face-to-face -face with those using the products themselves, sharing their own personal results. 
I like what we do right here. A skincare product's integrity depends on a few key things, whether its ingredients are proven safe and effective, backed by clinical studies, and whether the concentration and delivery of the ingredients are appropriate for optimum results. If you base your selection criteria on those few conditions, you'll be able to eliminate 95% of the products out there in the marketplace. A useful tool for, to cut through the blaring noise of marketers and their keywords and arrive at the results you desire without testing hundreds of products to get there. For help in this regard, I am here. And that is exactly what we attempt to do on this channel and many of us as distributors with New Skin do. So, how is it that new skin products are better than organic? That's kind of a bold claim. Well, first and foremost, after just reading through that, I hope you don't think it's too much of a bold claim because claiming something is organic has no relationship to whether or not that product is safe for you or whether or not that product will be beneficial for your skin. They're the two most important questions to be asking when you're considering using a skincare or health product. Is it safe? Is it effective? Everything else is marketing. So focus on those two things. Now, here is how New Skin is better. We use the 6S process to ensure that the product is number one safe. And we test from every section of the production line, from the sourcing of the raw ingredients, from the soil that the plants are growing in, from the components and active ingredients and, and how high the percentage is and in what part of the plant it is. All of this is controlled so that we can safely say at the end product that you are using is number one, safe for you to use. And number two, it is actually going to do something for your skin. That is a huge claim to make and we can only make that because of this 6S quality control process. If you want to find out more about that, you can watch this video here and learn all about it. But hopefully that answers the organic question for you. Is New Skin organic? No, we're better than that. <laughs> all right, guys, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to share your thoughts, comment section is for you. And you can reach me at kurtnewskin at gmail.com. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. And if you're watching this going, you know what? I want to partner with a company that is better than organic. How do I go about doing that? How do I become a supplier rather than just a consumer of these products? Well, glad you asked that question because I'm actively expanding my business around the world and I'm looking for great people to partner with to do that. And you may just be one of them. So reach out on Kurt Provost at uh, Facebook or Instagram or through kurtnewskin at gmail.com and we'll continue the conversation from there. Ciao, guys.